Today we're installing a Mad Jacks light kit designed for a Yamaha drive. Included in the kit is the mounting hardware, screws, zip ties, as well as templates, your harness, including your push pull switch, two headlights, and two tail lights. To do this, we're going to use a cutting tool, a 9 16th socket, a number two Phillips tip, a 7 16th drill bit, two cordless drills, and safety equipment. Now let's get started. To begin, we're going to cut the hole out for our passenger side headlight. The template itself for the headlight comes with the print driver side only. Flip it over for your passenger side. It should look like this. Curve should be pointing towards the bottom of the cart. It's teardrop shape pointing towards your front strut. We've taped it on here in the inside of this channel here. The bottom side should be hugging the bottom of your cow. We're going to take a pencil and trace out the inside of our template. Once you have your template drawn, you can remove it from the cow so we can cut. We're going to drill out a pilot hole and then cut the headlight out. We're going to use safety glasses. We're going to use a 7 16 drill bit just inside the template. Now we're going to take our cutting tool and cut out inside the line. We can always take more, can't add to it. Now that we have our hole cut out, place your headlight into the cow using the mounting screws provided. Take our number two Phillips tip and attach our headlight. We will repeat this process on the driver's side. Now that we have our headlights installed, we're going to cut out the template for our taillights. What we've done is flipped over our template for the driver's side. Mark the inside of our template. We're going to use our safety glasses again and drill our pilot hole out. We'll use our 7 16 drill bit, take our template off, take our cutting tool, and cut out the hole for our taillight. Now that we have our hole cut out, we can install our tail light using three screws provided in your package. We will repeat this process on the passenger side. Now that we have our headlights and tail lights installed, we can run our harness. First thing we want to do, turn our key switch off, put our cart in tow. We're going to have to remove our floor mat and our brake cover. To do that, we need to remove these factory rivets and retain. Now that we have our brake cover removed, we can run our harness. First thing we're going to do is run it to our tail lights. You'll notice you have a long and a short tail light end. The long end goes to the passenger side tail light. What we want to do, feed the long end over your passenger tire well and connect that to your rear tail light. Short side over the driver tire well and connect that one as well. Now we're going to run our front headlights and our push pull switch to the front of the cart through this access hole into the brake panel. Make sure you pull enough slack so that you still can attach to, to your battery. We're gonna run this harness around the back side of the pedals like this. So we're gonna run our harness through this access hole. Once we have our harness completely ran all the way to our headlights, we're gonna come back and zip tie it to this factory harness here. We wanna run our two three pin connectors and our push pull switch all through this access hole here. Once we do that, we're going to remove our cup holder from our front dash, install our push pull switch and hook up our front headlights. Now that we have our harness run to the front of the cart, 
We're gonna remove our cup holder from our front dash. Take out this one factory screw. Pop out your cup holder. We're gonna reach in, grab our harness. We wanna get the push-pull switch wires. Next, we're gonna install our push-pull switch into our front dash. There's a factory stamp dimple on the back side of our dashboard, and we're gonna use that as our drill point. Now we're gonna install our push-pull switch. First thing we're gonna do is remove the knob and remove the nut. Now, we're gonna plug this in to our harness, feed that through our drill hole, tighten your nut up, reattach our knob. Now that we have our push-pull switch installed, we're gonna hook up our headlights to our harness. We're gonna take our headlight three-pin connector and our harness connector, plug those in, and using our zip ties that are supplied in your kit, we wanna secure this harness so that it doesn't get caught on anything, and we'll repeat this process on the passenger side. Now that we have our headlights attached, we're gonna hook up our harness to our battery pack. Notice that we're using 12 volt batteries in this configuration. If you have eight volt, you need to buy a Magjack 16 to 12 volt reducer. First thing we're gonna do is remove both nuts off of one battery so that we're pulling 12 volts. Take our red wire to our positive on our battery black wire to our negative. Notice it's on the same battery, 12 volts. Once you have that hooked up, you can put your cart back in the run, switch on your push-pull switch, Everything's working. Reattach your seat cushion. And now you successfully installed your Magjax Yamaha Drive light kit.